So the reason why we need both egocentric and allocentric is because the information that our sensors uh, receive is usually uh, relative to the body or some um, internal reference frame. Uh, and also when we interact with the world, we need to know where things are relative to our body. But when we learn models of objects, we don't want to learn them relative to, the, to our body. We can learn an object somewhere in the room. And then after we've learned it there, we can recognize it in any other location in the room. It's independent of where it was learned because it was learned in an allocentric or object-centric reference frame. Uh, it's just a reference frame for that object. And then um, as we uh, describe in more detail in the paper, um, the thalamus can perform reference frame transforms from egocentric to that object's reference frame. So we can recognize it anywhere um, later on.